One of the most puzzling phenomena of cosmology today is dark energy. Dark energy refers to the accelerated expansion of the universe. In order to understand the evidence for dark energy, we will discuss three topics. The expansion of the universe, tag body supernovae, and cosmic microwave background. We will start with the expansion of the universe, which is a concept not even one century old. In fact, the expansion was first discovered in 1929 by Edwin Hubble. Up until his time, it was believed that the universe was stationary. Hubble noticed that all distant galaxies were instead moving away from us, which is not what you would expect in a static universe. In order to conclude this, he observed that the velocity of the more distant galaxies was higher than the closer galaxies. This is consistent with a picture of a universe expanding in all directions. In this picture, from Hubble's 1929 paper, the circles represent data of nearby galaxies. You can think of the expanding universe as a loaf of raisin bread inflating while being baked. Each raisin is moving away from every other raisin. But it does get more complicated. Not only is the universe expanding, like Edwin Hubble demonstrated, the expansion has actually been accelerating for the past 4 billion years. This picture represents the change in size of the universe from the Big Bang to today. The horizontal axis is the time, and the vertical axis is the size of the universe, but not to scale. Pay attention to the right hand where it is possible to see that the late universe expands faster. The very first evidence for the accelerated expansion of the universe came from a particular type of supernova explosion, called Type 1A. This discovery was awarded with a 2011 Nobel Prize in Physics. Over here you can see a real Type 1A supernova explosion that happened in 1994. The supernova is a single white dot on the lower left, somewhat outside of its host galaxy. Note that the explosion of a single star is as bright as the entire galaxy of billions of stars. Now that is pretty impressive. Side by side, you will see Hubble's plot on the left and the supernova data on the right. They are plotted similarly but the supernova are between 30 to 100 times further away than Hubble's galaxies. Hubble's relationship between velocity and distance is therefore observed also with supernovae. However, the relationship isn't linear anymore for much more distant supernova, and it gets more complicated. In this plot, we see how modern supernova are commonly displayed. The axes are flipped, so velocity is on the x-axis and distance on the y-axis. Notice also that redshift is used instead of velocity and distance modulus instead of parsecs. These two quantities will be discussed in detail in future videos. Before looking at the previous plot more closely, let's consider the theory that predicts the expansion of the universe. General relativity is the ultimate theory of gravity, the monumental work of Albert Einstein, put together by 1915. It is a beautiful theory which describes very accurately the motion of planets and galaxies with deep understanding of math and just a few assumptions. General relativity is so powerful that it can predict the evolution of the universe if all of its components are known. One of the reasons why dark energy is a good candidate to explain the accelerated expansion of the universe is that it is consistent with the framework of general relativity. In fact, it can be just another one of the components, like normal matter, dark matter, neutrinos, and photons. If no dark energy existed, general relativity would predict a curve like the one below the supernova data points. However, the majority of the distant supernova 
a further away than expected. If the dark energy component is 74% of the universe, you will get the upper curve, which agrees well with the data. The evidence for dark energy from supernova is already very compelling. However, scientists insist on independent confirmation of such an important effect. In fact, if other experiments independently give the same results as type 1 supernova, then scientists will have a greater confidence in their results. This independent confirmation comes from the cosmic microwave background. The cosmic microwave background is the extremely uniform map of the universe at microwave frequencies. It is the leftover radiation from the Big Bang. Those observable intensity variations, ranging from red to blue, are very small, of the order of microkelvins. If you plot the intensity of the perturbations for several angular distances, you will obtain the black data points with the red fit. The blue curve is the prediction of the data if the universe was 100% normal matter. The link on the screen will direct you to a flash game where you can play around with how much of each component to fit into the predictions. When dark energy is 74% of the universe, theory predicts data extremely well. The blue curve is now in agreement with the data points. This is truly remarkable. 74% dark energy was a requirement from type 1 supernova. That quantity of dark energy is also needed by the CMB, which is a completely independent measurement. To summarize, the evidence for dark energy comes from multiple independent sources. Type 1 supernova are too far away, and their position cannot be justified by a universe composed solely of matter. The presence of dark energy fits very naturally in the theory and allows for agreement with the observations. The cosmic microwave background variations are very sensitive to the components of the universe and require amount of dark energy consistent with the amount required by supernova. Scientists find it very powerful when two independent measurements agree so well. This is why they're inclined to believe in the existence of dark energy. In future videos, we will explain CMB and supernova in greater detail. But for today, Thanks for watching.